This is a PS4. Change so many things and so many ways to play for a future generation. And so many features. This is now, yeah, beta. This is not cool, man. This is BS. So, PlayStation is deciding to not only now not be able to buy or rent movies, as you are about to see right there, but now they're going to remove communities to uh, better PlayStation, to make more, yeah, quality of life improvements? What's it going to improve? Pe the better chance of people being more lonely? Communities were brought to be made by people and for the people, you know? Of communities made out of games that are your favorites. Communities to communicate with other players who share the same love for the same games that you do. And now PlayStation's going to take away communities? Weren't people suspicious when they already took away her off the phone app? I mean, are they serious? Are like, you know... I mean, I can't believe this. I've seen, witnessed so many communities of depressed people. And now, the only thing this is going to prove is the chance of being more depressed than alone. Because you're taking away community. You're taking away their friends that help them feel better when they're having a talk. Are you guys kidding me? So no more communities. So what does that mean? Is that just PS4? Who knows? These people, I mean, you really want people to get a PS5, don't you? You're taking everything away. And not only that, but someone who, like, there was, like, some rumor about they're also going to re replace profile pics with something to do with drones. So, yeah, no more renting. I want to talk about that. VHS tapes replaced by DVD. For a while, I didn't like it. And now DVD is getting replaced by, by movie streaming. You know? And now, if that wasn't bad enough... You know, with no more renting and all that. Now people are going to be replaced on PlayStation, it looks like, by what? Drones? Are you kidding me? Is this finally happening in life? You're in a sci-fi movie? So you're going to take away communities, a way for people to communicate with each other when they're having a bad day. You're going to, like, the only thing you're going to qualify of life improvements... The only thing you're going to improve, like I just said, is you're going to improve the the uh, percentage and of how sad people are going to be when they have no one to talk to. So congratulations, PlayStation. I don't know what your plan was, but a lot of people are already very sad about this who got the news. They have so many friends they'll probably never hear from again. You know, it's bad enough we got to keep a distance. And we was like, oh, it's okay. We have PlayStation. Now on PlayStation, you're taking away community. And if someone has a really sad day and there's no one to talk to, you know, I, I'm going to be, I'm just, all I could do now is like feel bad for the person. So what does everybody think about this? I mean, if you're a fan of communities, I'm sorry, but they're going to get rid of it. And supposedly all rooms now are going to be private rooms are going to become public. I mean, and if that wasn't bad enough way before that, now people are going to be like something about listening in on party conversations. I mean, wow, they really love Nixon. You know, anybody recording your conversation must be a Nixon fan. So yeah, what do you all think about that? I mean, I never thought I'd have to make this video. I mean, this is messed up beyond belief. I mean, what were they thinking? I mean, so how? what's it going to approve? You're going to have games and no one to communicate how awesome they are and friends not being able to talk to each other if they didn't give out phone numbers. So what are people supposed to do now? Just game and like keep their mouth shut? What does this improve besides the chances of people being more depressed and sad and obviously alone? This is Shades of the Late Night Audio Show. And as always, I'll see you next time. 
I really didn't think I had to make this video.